When it comes to mechanical keyboards, not everyone is looking for technical perfection. Not everyone is looking for the most modular functions, the most programmable software. Not everyone is looking for this crazy stuff that r slash mk cares about or i care about. Some people just want a basic, simple mechanical keyboard that gets the job done for gaming and typing and has mechanical keyboard switches in there and it won't break in a couple of weeks or months. This is the GUNS Alt 61 and I think this is a keyboard that just like the Magic 468 I reviewed in the past is for those kind of people but this time it's in a poker form factor and with certain functionality I think more than make up for the fact that it's a very compact keyboard. Okay now before I start this review proper, follow me on Instagram or join my Discord if you have any questions to ask and also it will sign you up for whatever giveaway I might do in the future so why not? Let's talk about this keyboard's design first and foremost. It's a simple mechanical keyboard and it looks like it. It's all black with standard font on the keycaps. I think the font actually looks quite alright. And you've got standard things all around. It's all black with a poker style 60% keyboard design layout thing. So it doesn't have F keys or arrow keys or the number pad as all poker keyboards don't. And it is a pretty extended keyboard all around. Also, I've realized that the insect that was flying around my room just now is now dead. And there's a lizard just chilling here. So I'm guessing he just ate that insect. But basically, the design is very nice. It's not vulgar and I personally think it's pretty all right. The only branding you get is on the back with the GANS Alt 61 sticker on the back. And you've got this GANS logo on the front here. And I think that's just all right. It's not too much, and I'm not gonna complain about it at all. Let me just adjust the camera a bit. Okay. So now we've talked about the design, but how about build quality? I think build quality is absolutely essential for a budget mechanical keyboard because chances are if you're spending $40 on a keyboard, this keyboard comes in at about 40 USD brand new, about, which is insane. If you're spending only that much money on the keyboard, reliability is extremely important because chances are you're completely broke, just like I. So reliability wise, I think this keyboard is pretty good. Now personally, I would only have had this keyboard for a month, but the person who I bought this keyboard from second hand is used it for a year up to the point where I bought it. So I think it's fair to say that it should be able to last a pretty long time considering the time that it's spent being used and still works perfection. Still worked perfectly. For me, it has no problems at all, no hiccups with key registering or whatever, and it works like a charm. Let's go. And on top of reliability, its build quality is pretty good too. Now, the keycaps aren't fancy or anything, they aren't PBT, they are ABS, but for ABS keycaps, they are surprisingly good. They're surprisingly thick and feel surprisingly well built. The whole case feels pretty rigid all around, and the plastics used. And while it's all plastic, it's, it still feels pretty solid and pretty sturdy. It is, however, quite a light keyboard, and I know like I know a lot of people that like really hefty keyboards because it doesn't shift around on their desk. This, however, is once again compensated by the fact that it has rubber pads on the bottom, meaning it doesn't really slip or slide around a, a table once you place it down properly. Now, in terms of features and functionality, this keyboard isn't particularly phenomenal. I mean, you've got USB-C on the back, which is excellent, and this isn't the RGB or Bluetooth version of this keyboard, which exists. It's got the Alt 61 RGB, and that has RGB and Bluetooth, and that's a pretty interesting keyboard, but I don't have that version. This is the simple version, and it's just a standard wired keyboard with no lights. And in terms of functionality, the most you've got is some software programming, but the software is not really anything I like to use, so I personally don't. In terms of on keyboard commands and stuff though, you've got everything kind of covered, the basics, so you can use it as if it was a full-size keyboard with a little bit of hassle, obviously. So for the number roll, so you've got your standard function keys, you can press function and a variety of different buttons for print screen, page up, page down, F1 keys, F your F keys, uh, your arrow keys and all that. And if you press function and left shift, you can change your alt control uh, keys to arrow keys. And you, if you press function left control, you can change your number keys to permanently be F keys. Or, you know, you can switch it back obviously when you want to. But basically, 
you have a lot of functionality, you have all the commands to use this keyboard depending on your needs. So if you're someone who really needs F keys, then you can just press F and control and have those F keys always available for you. If you're someone who always needs arrow keys, you can press F and left shift. You're gonna sacrifice your alt, control and question mark key, but at least you have arrows at all times. So depending on your needs, you can actually customize this keyboard to just the right job. So that's very nice. And for a budget mechanical keyboard, what more can you ask for? Uh, it games well because it's a compact, tiny form factor. It's great to type on because it's compact, tiny form factor. It's portable, easy to bring around. I mean, it's small and it, it's a mechanical keyboard and it gets the job done. And it's got the commands and shortcuts when you need it, where you need it. And apart from that, there's really nothing else to this keyboard. In terms of switches though, it comes with a variety of Cherry Max switches mainly. Uh, you can find it, I think, with Gateron's, but mine, I bought second hand and it was retooled with Gateron yellows that were lube and stuff. So I can't exactly tell you what the original switch experience is like on this keyboard. So I don't have any sound tests, but generally if you're getting Cherry MX switches or Garon switches, there are hundreds and hundreds of mechanical switch sound tests and reviews out there. And because this keyboard is a pretty basic, plastic, simple, 60% keyboard, it shouldn't really be much different from those sound tests in terms of sound and feel. So there's not too much worry about the switches. There. And from what I've read from certain online reviews, they have said that the pre-tooling and the uh, stabilizers on this keyboard that come default straight off factory are pretty good. So uh, obviously you have to take stuff you read online at with a grain of salt. But personally, if someone on Reddit says it's good, then I tend to think it's good. Placebo effect is strong and I trust random strangers on the internet way too often. Anyway, that's it for this review. I think in conclusion, this keyboard, it gets the basics right, it gets the job done, and if you're looking for a mechanical keyboard, you only got 40 US dollars to spend on a 60% mechanical keyboard. This is a pretty good option if you stumble across it and it's easy to ship to you. So yeah, the GANS Alt 61 mechanical keyboard, do check it out. There's a fly flying around my room, which is super annoying. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or liked it, or found it really helpful, you know the YouTube drill, like, subscribe, the standard stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching though, see you guys next time, bye.